Mark and Morgan from WholeLatteLove.com. Mark, the question today is where can you get a latte for 36 cents? Well, I think the only way is if I maybe had like $3 left on a coffee shop gift card. Come on, stop playing hard to get. You know we've got a better way. All right, all right. Of course, the better way is to make it at home. And today we're going to show you how easy it is. Now, to be totally upfront about that 36 cents, that's the cost of the coffee and milk. You'll also need to invest in an easy way to make espresso and steam the milk. And one of our favorites is the Gaja Brera. It grinds coffee beans fresh to make espresso and long coffee and textures milk perfectly with an auto frothing steam wand. Machines like the Brera are an investment, but it's one that keeps paying you back. Not only can you have lattes at home whenever you want, but how about long coffees, freshly ground from beans that cost under 20 cents. Now that blows the doors off a single serve machine. And remember, we're talking exceptional coffee made from freshly ground beans. Yeah, fresh is best, right? Mm -hmm. Way better than stuff that's been sitting in an expensive, unrecyclable plastic cup for who knows how long. So let's make that latte. You're going to push the power button and the brewer heats up and it's ready to brew in under a minute. While it's heating up, let's take a quick tour. Up top is where you load the whole bean coffee. Inside the bean hopper, there's a knob for adjusting the grind. For best flavor, we go with a finer grind for espresso and coarser for long coffee. In front of the hopper, there's a chute for using pre-ground coffee. Now, most people will use that for the occasional decaf. Also up top, you've got a cup warming surface. Working down the front are buttons for two espresso or coffee sizes, a button for selecting coffee strength and pre-ground coffee. And then there's a knob for selecting steam and hot water. Two drawers pull out of the front. One holds water for brewing, and the other holds used coffee grounds. As the machine heats up, it does an automatic rinse of the brew circuit. When that's done, it's ready to brew. So just place a cup under the spouts and push the espresso button. The grinder starts and delivers coffee to the brew group inside, which compresses it, which is called tamping, and that's what a barista would do. While the espresso is being made, we'll add three to four ounces of milk to a frothing pitcher. For our latte, we've programmed the machine to deliver about an ounce and a half of espresso. What a lot of people will do is program one button for espresso and the other for a regular sized cup of coffee. Programming is simple, just press and hold till the light flashes, and once you've got the amount, press again, and that amount is stored until you change it. All right, our espresso is done, so let's steam the milk. So we'll turn the knob to steam and let the machine purge any excess water. When no more water comes out, turn the knob back to center briefly and then place the tip of the steam wand below the surface of the milk. Then turn the knob back to steam. At the beginning, all we need to do is keep the tip below the surface of the milk. Air is added to the milk through a hole higher up on the wand. For the latte, we want to add air at the beginning of steaming. As small air bubbles combine with the milk, it expands in the pitcher. The small air bubbles give the milk a creamy texture, and heating the milk increases its apparent sweetness. Once the milk is expanded by about 30% or so, we want to stop adding air and continue heating and swirling the milk to break up any larger bubbles into a fine microfoam. So to do that, we raise the pitcher so the milk covers that air intake hole and find a position for the wand that helps the milk to swirl. As far as temperature, milk is at its sweetest from 140 to 155 degrees. You could use a thermometer, but an easy way to hit that range is to just continue heating until the pitcher is just starting to get a little too hot to hold in your hand. Once you hit that, turn the steam off and remove the pitcher. After steaming, it's important to give the wand another shot of steam to clean the milk out and wipe it down with a clean cloth. Before pouring the latte, give the pitcher a few swirls and knock on the countertop. Doing this helps get rid of any larger bubbles and gives a uniform consistency, which should resemble latex paint in a can. Now just pour your milk over the espresso. Your best bet is to pour right into the center, staying in the same spot. This helps keep the crema layer of the espresso intact for a better looking drink. And that's it. Just a few minutes from turning the machine on to a finished latte. Espresso in about a minute and a half and a long coffee from freshly ground beans in under two minutes. So what do you think? Ready to up your coffee quality and enjoy milk-based drinks like lattes and cappuccinos at home? Check out the best selection of everything coffee, including the Gaja Brera, now at WholeLatteLove.com. I'm Morgan. And I'm Mark. Enjoy your latte and thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hey.